Uh, bro, the Switch Pro is about to do the same exact thing. I don't get the internet. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Before we get started with this video, you already know. Thank you, homie, for clicking that like button. You're awesome. Doesn't matter what anybody else says about you. I think you're awesome. That's all that matters. Obi-Wan cares. All right. Let's get right to this news. The internet is going crazy right now because Microsoft has confirmed that the Xbox Series X will not have any exclusives at launch for at least i think the first two years of the console what that means is every game that microsoft produces out of its first party studios onto the xbox series s x see the the, the names will also be on the s will also be on the og xbox that means Microsoft is going to be scaling games on a 12 giga, giga, teraflops, how many flops, teraflops, all the way down to a one teraflop console. The OG Xbox was, I think, over just a little bit over one teraflop, and this is supposed to be 12 teraflops, a huge power gap. The internet is going crazy. I see dudes saying, oh, Microsoft has already lost. They've already given up. How are you going to launch a $600, $500 console? They don't even know the price yet. But how are you going to launch a $500 console with no exclusives? And I tweeted out on Twitter. Make sure you follow me at Obi-Wan Plays. When this news first broke, I tweeted out, did Sony announce that all of their first party launch games will only be on the PlayStation 5? Have they confirmed that? Because if memory serves me correctly, I remember getting a PlayStation 4 at launch. And you know what? You know what I was playing on my PlayStation 4? Last of Us Remastered. <laughs> the GTA 5. Last generation games. Yes, they weren't backwards compatible, but when they made a version for the PlayStation 4, it was really just a remake, an upscale of PlayStation 3 games during the first year of the PlayStation 4. Go and check. There were so many remakes. And I think the lines are being more and more blurred with the incremental upgrades. From the I, Right now, I have my Xbox... Um, X, Xbox One X, it's going to be not that big of a difference with the Xbox Series X the first year as far as games that are going to be delivered. And so it makes sense that there's going to be backwards compatibility. Bro, the Xbox sold over 40 million units. The Switch has passed that, by the way, but... No way is Microsoft just going to ignore 40 million gamers when launching their new console. And I really don't think Sony's going to be do the same thing either. I really think that whenever Horizon Zero 2 launches on the PlayStation 5, there's going to be a PlayStation 4 version. For the first year or two on the PlayStation 5, the same things. Bro, the PlayStation 4 has sold over a hundred million units. You really think a hundred and million, over a hundred million <coughs> PlayStation 5s are gonna be launched within its first year? No, those companies like money and they're going to cater to their audience and eventually, eventually there'll be exclusives and give you a reason to just buy their next gen hardware. 
But at launch, that ain't happening, bro. I am not shocked that Halo um, 6 is going to be on my Xbox One X. And you know what? That's why I'm doing this video. The Switch Pro is going to do the same thing. Yes, they're not saying it's a next gen. We don't even know what Nintendo is going to call this. There's going to be... The dudes are going to be like, oh, Nintendo's launching a new hardware, piece of hardware. Are they going to have an exclusive to entice you to upgrade? No. And I know dudes are already watching this video. I'm a, I'm a mind reader, bro. I know dudes are saying, oh, I'm being one, but it's not going to be a next-gen Nintendo console. It's the same thing. <laughs> when Nintendo launches the Nintendo Switch Pro, Switch 2, Super Nintendo, Switch NX. Well, check out my last video on the naming of the um, Nintendo Switch Pro. A lot of funny names in the comment section. Bruh. There's no way in the world Nintendo's going to split the install base of the Nintendo Switch. No way in the world. Why are my videos in HD? I mean, um, standard definition that right there. But there's no way in the world. There we go. I said it in the HD. There's no way in the world Nintendo's going to split the the Switch. Is pushing 50 million units, bro. It's at least at 45 million right now, bro. There's no way in the world Nintendo's going to. There's going to be three new pieces of hardware this year: Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. And all three systems are going to be backwards compatible. All three systems are going to launch games that will be playable on both the current gen and the past gen. The current iteration Switch Pro and the past Switch Pro. Even if it's the same family of systems. Why? It makes sense. Just imagine... Metroid Prime 4, I was getting a Metroid, that's why you guys are like, what's up with all these Metroid gifts? Just imagine, Metroid Prime 4 was announced 10 E3s ago, it feels like 10 E3s ago. 3 E3s ago, coming to the Nintendo Switch. And at E3, Nintendo announces, it's only going to be on the Switch Pro. You got to upgrade to a Switch Pro. How would you feel if you just got a Switch Lite for Christmas? You would feel robbed. That's how Microsoft is looking at it. We just had crazy sales. We were selling Xbox S's for $150 for Christmas. And now we're going to tell you, <coughs> you got to buy our next gen console? No. It makes no sense. Nintendo's going to do the same thing. Sony's going to do the same thing. Metroid Prime 4, as much as I say this would be a perfect Switch Pro launch title, it's still going to be on your current Switch. Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which all signs are pointing to this being a Nintendo Switch Pro launch title. This would be a perfect system seller. The reason to upgrade to a Nintendo Switch Pro. I bet you $500 this is also going to be on the Switch I got right now. It's going to happen. It's going to. Why? They like money. They're not going to ignore 40 million potential sales of their, of their game. And it makes everyone happy. Now, do I think eventually there's going to be third-party games that will be just on the Switch Pro? Just on the Xbox Series X? just on the PlayStation 5? Yes, but not initially. The hardware um, next-gen launch cycle is not a hardline cutoff. It's a slow ease-in. That means they're going to allow you to still, if you're not ready to upgrade yet, they're still going to be making money off their current-gen um, platforms while the adoption rate for the next-gen systems 
fall more comfortably in place and once the companies feel okay we have enough of an install base to say bye bye playstation 4 bye bye xbox one then it's gonna happen but until then no way jose stop chipping over microsoft sony and nintendo's doing the same thing all right what do you guys think about everything we talked about sound of oh, one more news item and another reason why i think um, it's not gonna happen. No, I could save this news item for another time, bro. I got videos, bro! Make sure you subscribe. We're gonna hit you with that fire tomorrow. Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right, we're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter, at Obi1Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one place. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.